Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can expose set material instance static switch parameter value node to blueprints and uh, I created this visual representation of the problem so inside Unreal Engine by default if you want to automate the creation process of your materials and material instances, you would be using nodes like this get material instance value, set material instance parameter value, etc. etc. And we have four of them we have scalar, vector, static switch, and texture. We have getters and setters, get and set nodes. However, I don't know for what reason, but by default, Unreal Engine doesn't have the set node equivalent for get material instance static switch parameter value. And that's a bit of a problem. And it indeed was for me when I was playing with animation. Oh, and indeed, the, that was a bit of a problem for me when I was playing with automation. By the way, there is going to be a whole separate course on automation inside Unreal Engine. But let's stick to the topic for this video. And uh, luckily, when I was playing with automation, I found this solution online. And it is, I believe, in Japanese or some foreign language that I don't understand. And here we have the code. And here we have pretty much similar explanation of the problem so and we also have the solution here so this is what uh, what we are going to be exposing and uh, don't worry about the source code it's going to be somewhere either in the description or it's somewhere don't worry and i'm going to show you how you can expose this and uh, use it for yourself so let's get this off the screen and let's proceed with the solution but before that i'm just gonna quickly show you uh my setup so you can skip this part of the video but uh, anyway i've created a simple scene and i have very blank project nothing added no contents or any fancy stuff whatsoever i have this test folder which has a simple material with a couple of parameters these are vector parameters named color a and color b and we have static switch parameter which is labeled as panda switch and this is the thing that we want to control automatically yes of course here's the instance yes of course you can go inside here and change it manually but the point is once you want to do the same thing for tens or hundreds of material instances, well, you know, that's the time when you want to automate uh, things and save you minutes or sometimes even hours of your time. But anyway, um, I'm going to quickly now show you how you can uh, change the, just for the purpose of testing, change vector parameter. And I'm going to change that to blue. Click OK and uh, see why it's not working okay it's not working by the way this thing i don't know how to script as of right now so make sure when you're creating your material instances to have at least these checkboxes ticked so when you are creating them in the start in the beginning just tick them the rest of the things can be manipulated by automation okay so uh let me test it again scripted action change vector parameter value i'm could i'm going to switch it to yellow and as you can see it updates but it would be nice if we could do the same thing with the uh, these static switch parameters right except manually we can't however there is a solution and uh, there are two ways how you can expose this uh, function you can uh, expose it directly in the project or you can create your own blueprint uh, plugin and uh, i'm probably gonna have both uh, solutions both videos but uh, 
let's go with uh, how you can have it in your project. And in order to do that, we have to create new C++ class. And instead of choosing none, we have to choose blueprint function library. And let's call it material utilities. Oops, it doesn't allow me because it already exists somewhere in the engine. So let's add something also guard material utilities. I think it's fine. And create class. And uh, let's give it some time to compile the project because my project is blueprints only. And now we are going to be creating, uh, converting this into C++ compiled project and give it a couple of seconds. And of course, I think it goes without saying that you need to have Microsoft Visual Studio in order to compile your project. But anyway, I think you know that already. Okay, so now that the Visual Studio is open, let's find our function, which is called Valsogar Material Utilities. If you don't see this, you can go here, view options and show C++ classes, you can toggle it. But anyway, let's go back to Visual Studio and find Valsgard Material Utilities. It should be inside Source, Action Utilities Tut. That's short for tutorial because that's the name of my project. And here we can see Valsgard Material Utilities dot CPP and dot h file and we want both of them we already have our dot h file opened and now we have cpp file open as well and now let's implement the code first we are going to be implementing c plus plus part of the code and uh, let's go to this link and we need to copy this part this one we don't need actually okay so let's copy this and paste it here and save it and here visual studio says that something might be wrong here we're gonna be dealing with uh, this a uh, bit later and let's go to the header file and uh, we can copy paste this as well although we could uh, uh, we could generate ourselves write ourselves the uh, header part of the code but uh, let's spare some time so these two strings is what we need and uh, let's go here and uh, press a couple of enters enter keys to get some space and I can save now and that should be it. Okay, now what we have to change is this part here because this is different in our case compared to this guy's implementation and we are going to change that. So we have to go inside our .header file and select this control c to copy and paste over this here and we can control s to save and uh, that should be all i think let's close the project from here because we are going to be debugging or should i say compiling it from visual studio and let's click on compile and see if everything is all right, and hopefully it is. Okay, and now we are inside 
Unreal Engine project again. Let's open our editor utilities file. And here you can see the utility action that I've made for vector material parameter, material instance vector parameter value. But like before, if I want to do the same thing, but for static switch parameter, there would be actually nothing just like here. And now hopefully that is solved. So let's try to find it. Set material instance static switch parameter value. And here we can see it appearing. And let's plug it in and see if it is working. And let's, I don't need this actually. But what I'm going to need is a different value. So parameter name is going to be panda switch and you can uh, double check that here. So you can see it's called panda switch. So that one is going to be called panda switch. Compile save and I can change the value like this. So I'm going to have a pop up window and compile save and let's test it so now we have our blue color and what i'm expecting to see once i switch the parameter what i'm expecting to see is let me go back to the master material uh once i make the switch of the static switch once i set it to true I'm expecting to see blue color of, oh, sorry, um, <laughs> I meant to say green color. So this color is going to be uh, displayed. So this cube is not going to be bluish or purple-ish. It's going to be um, green. And uh, let's test it. So right click, scripted actions, change static switch parameter, set it to true. Click OK and boom, you can see it working. And now I can get it back. Scripted action, change the static switch parameter. Click OK. And I'm doing this kind of manually, but you get the point if you have like tens or even hundreds, or for God's sake, hundreds of uh, or thousands of material instances you would be able to automate this and you would be saving like literally uh, lots of time but uh, that's it that's how you solve this issue and now we can add our node to the uh, collection and now we have a complete collection of uh, nodes that we can play with and that's it for this video Thank you for watching and uh, make sure to share this video to anybody and everybody who is looking for similar solutions or had similar troubles. Make sure to follow us on uh, social media. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, you can check out valsogard.com, which is our website. There is going to be lots of high quality content and interesting stuff. And again, thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye.